Thank you very much. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the e-government branch of the Division for Public Administration and Development Management of UNDESA, I would like to thank all of you for taking time from your very busy schedules to be here with us today um, in this global event. Um, I would like to share with you that based on our list of participants, in this room alone, we have about 45 countries that are being represented. Therefore, we believe that this is a great opportunity to share our knowledge and to have a very rich exchange of experiences on e-government and what e-government can do for sustainable development. I would also like to express my sincere gratitude to the host, the government of the Republic of Korea, and to our project office, UMPO, particularly to its head, Mr. Lim, and his excellent team. Finally, allow me to thank, uh, to thank and to welcome and congratulate the 2014 United Nations Public Service Award winners that are here present today with us and will be illustrating their good practices in the area of whole of government and innovative service delivery. Before starting our sessions, I would like to provide you with some general information about the overall theme of this workshop, the objectives, uh, the structure process, role of resource persons, and also expected outcomes. Uh, before providing uh, more information about the overall theme, I would like to set the context of this workshop. Uh, within the uh, global dialogue that is going on within the United Nations and with stakeholders from around the world. Uh, as you know, we are currently approaching the deadline for the 2015 uh, implementation of the Millennium Development Goals, which were set by world leaders more than 10 years ago. And they have made a huge impact uh, on the lives of billions of people. In particular, extreme poverty has decreased in every region, and substantial progress has been made in access to safe drinking water, decent housing, and life-saving HIV treatment. While between 2000 and 2011, the world has achieved parity in primary education between girls and boys, with more than 40 million children attending schools. However, according to the latest Millennium Development Report, progress has been uneven, more than one billion people still live in extreme poverty, and there are persisting challenges in eradicating hunger, improving health, promoting gender equality, enhancing access to clean water and sanitation, among others. As the 2015 deadline for achieving the Millennium De Development Goals approaches, this is working with a range of partners to build on the MDGs and help create a vision for the future that puts people and the planet first. So a new transformative sustainable development agenda for post-2015 is taking shape and a set of sustainable development goals are being elaborated. Following up on the UN Conference on Sustainable Development, Rio Plus 20, the UN General Assembly, in its resolution entitled The Future We Want, has reaffirmed the strong need to achieve sustainable development. And it has stressed that all levels of government and legislative bodies play an important role in promoting sustainable development. Overall, and I quote from the resolution, the goal of sustainable development is to ensure the promotion of an economically, socially, and environmental sustainable future for the planet and for present and future generations. It emphasizes intragenerational and intergenerational equity. Success of this new transformative agenda for sustainable development will critically depend on governance at all levels. And you can see in this slide that the three main pillars of this post-2015 development agenda are economic development, social development, and environmental sustainability. And the uh, role that public administration and good governance will play in promoting these three pillars in an integrated and balanced way uh, will be critical. So we will need more than ever innovative, effective, inclusive, transparent, open, collaborative public administration and good governance if we wish to promote this very ambitious but very needed development agenda. Uh, we know that there are multiple cha challenges, uh, as I mentioned before, 
and uh, uh, it is clear that governments cannot work uh, as they used to in silos. That's why whole of government approaches, collaborative governance, uh, are becoming uh, essential elements of good governance uh, if governments wish to uh, overcome and work together with other stakeholders in society, uh, overcome complex, multifaceted, and interdependent challenges, including poverty, inequality, global warming, peace, and security, which really, at the end, require a holistic government vision and a transformative agenda through enhanced policy coordination, decision-making processes, and public service integration. So I just wanted to set a little bit the context of why we have chosen this theme, innovation and e-governance for sustainable development. As I mentioned, it is extremely important that we start thinking more in terms of collaborative governance. Citizens should be seen as solutions to problems, not problems. There is a great deal of innovation, uh, uh, creativity within all three sectors, and this is going to be the future if we wish to promote uh, economic, social development, and environmental sustainability. Um, in terms of innovation, uh, we believe that innovation and e-government can play a fundamental role in meeting the social, economic, and environmental challenges of our societies by providing opportunities to transform public administration into an instrument of sustainable development at the service of its citizens, and we will have the opportunity to explore more in detail and depth during these two days how e-government and innovation can play uh, this important role and what can be done in terms of uh, framework strategies uh, and uh, innovative practices. You will have the opportunity to share your knowledge and to gain knowledge from others. So if we move on quickly uh, to the objectives of this uh, workshop, we will present and discuss key issues of innovation and e-governance for sustainable development, discuss policies, strategies, and good practices. We are very fortunate to have the UNPSA winners among us, but there are many winners among all of us. Uh, it's just that may maybe some of you did not uh, submit your nominations, so I would also take this opportunity to remind you that every year we have the United Nations Public Service Awards call for nominations, and if you have not nominated, if you have not been nominated, or you wish to nominate a good innovative practice, please do so. Uh, as Mr. Lim also um, said, we will promote knowledge sharing and peer-to-peer -peer transfer within this workshop, but also beyond the workshop. In other words, we would like this workshop to be starting point of connecting governments to share their innovative solutions, innovative practices, so though the workshop is very important, what will happen after the workshop, through your own interactions, is even more important. And finally, we will generate key recommendations and action-oriented proposals on how to promote innovation and e-government. Uh, next, please. So the workshop is going to be composed of four sessions. Uh, the first session is going to be about the global trends and emerging issues of e-government. The second session will be about collaborative leadership for whole of government approaches, and we will have the UNPSA winners that will present uh, their insights, lesson, lessons learned of whole of government, particularly focusing on the key ingredients needed for leadership, uh, collaborative leadership. Uh, session three will focus on policies and strategies of innovative online service delivery, and again, we are very fortunate to have the UNPSA winners among us and others. And the fourth session is going to be focused on the small island developing states, uh, which is very important. And e-government can play a fundamental role, as Mr. Lynn wisely uh, stated. And we will also um, hold the third international conference on SIDS. Uh, United Nations is organizing it in Samoa uh, in September. So it will be a uh, an opportunity to brainstorm and then present recommendations during that very important uh, platform. And we are very glad to see a representative from Samoa here. Uh, so if you have any questions about the SIDS conference, you may also ask him. Next, please. In terms of process and participatory methodology, well, 
we believe that we should talk very little and you should talk more than we do. So we're trying to adopt this participatory approach. We believe participation is important at all levels, not only for governments, but also in these kinds of uh, platforms to exchange knowledge. So what we will do is uh, we will have different means of enhancing participation. We know that this room is, has, with all of these people, there are so many ideas that we really want you to engage with one another to talk about your challenges, opportunities, and strategies. And we hope that this could be done through sessions of questions and answers to the presenters. We will have group exercises, table discussions, and of course knowledge sharing during the networking breaks, or so-called coffee breaks. And we believe that active participation throughout the workshop is really key to success. So if you like this workshop and you're here today, we would ask you to stay throughout the two days because all of the exercises and the discussions are going to be logically linked to one another. And if you do not like the workshop or the theme, then uh, of course you, you may uh, join other workshops, but we really hope that you will be engaged because there are many different uh, ways in which you will be able to share your knowledge. Next. Now, role of resource persons. Uh, I just wanted to explain a little bit how this is going to work because uh, clarity is important. So we will have session chairpersons. The session, the session chairperson will introduce the speakers one by one. Uh, the speakers will have 10 minutes each and after 8 minutes uh, there will be a signal, gentle signal, Korean gong, I understand, uh, to let you know that uh, your time is almost up. And uh, we believe that 10 minutes is a very good time. In fact, I'm trying to rush because I need to give a good example. I can't go over my 10 minutes. Uh, so that's what we ask the speakers. Why do we ask that? Well, we ask that so that everybody else then can also. Uh, uh, we cannot have, we would like to have all of you as speakers, but we can't. So the only way that we can have you share your knowledge is at the table discussions. We will have an overall facilitator, uh, Mr. Robertson Work, who is here with us and has been facilitating uh, workshops. He's, a, he's an expert and uh, so we are very pleased to have him here today. Then we will have uh, table discussion rapporteurs and chairs. So each table will select their own rapporteur for each session and uh, also the chair. And the rapporteur of the, of the uh, table discussions will provide their notes at the end of the session to the session rapporteurs. So each session will have a session rapporteur to capture not only table discussions, but also what will be said during the plenary. Finally, we have a general rapporteur, and I'm happy to introduce our general rapporteur, Mr. Limon Rodriguez, who has been, uh, he's a senior economist, at, at, uh, and he has been working with us also for many years. So he knows what it takes to put together the recommendations in an effective, efficient way. Because the end result is that we need to come up with some recommendations, some concrete recommendations, both to member states and also to the United Nations, uh, which will be presented in the plenary session on the last day of this event, and then will be incorporated in the final report. So we hope that what we are going to be discussing during these days uh, will not just be limited to this room, but we can share our insights and knowledge with the world at large if we come up with a set of good recommendations and insights and lessons learned. Uh, finally, the UN Secretariat, uh, that is uh, e-government branch of EPADM, myself and Mr. Ravinovich are here to help you and facilitate the workshop, as well as Mr. Lim and his team from Book. Next, please. Uh, so our last point uh, is what are the expected outcomes of workshop? I always think that if we have in mind the end result, if we have a vision of where we want to go, the journey will be more purposeful. So, of course, these uh, expected outcomes may be a little ambitious, but I'll just uh, illustrate them to you and then we will see as a group if we can come up with uh, recommendations and suggestions to be presented during the ministerial roundtable on the last day. Of course, as I said, enhanced knowledge, so we really truly believe in participation and you uh, sharing your knowledge on the government policy, strategies, trends, best practices and tools in the era of e-government. Transfer of knowledge by connecting those who have innovated with those who wish to innovate in a specific area. 
uh, and we can also facilitate after the workshop peer-to-peer uh, -peer transfers upon request um, and uh, promote a global exchange platform in the area of innovation and e-government for sustainable development for SIDS. Uh, as you know, one of the problems of SIDS is that they are very much scattered, but there is great knowledge within the various uh, uh, SIDS and islands, and therefore, by connecting them through a platform, online discussion, we believe that this could be very important in terms of facilitating e-government for sustainable uh, uh, development. And finally, uh, we would like to hear from you if you have any ideas, needs, about concrete training modules, uh, guidelines uh, that you would like us to develop or we could develop a partnership with you. So again, please, uh, we are open to listen to you, uh, to hear what your needs are, what your suggestions are, uh, and uh, I really hope that this workshop will be insightful and uh, inspirational, but above all, that you will enjoy these two days and meet many outstanding people. And I thank you very much.